Welcome to the Miami Herald Business Show. I'm Nyla Boudou. The stats on social media are clear. Facebook's millions of users, Twitter's growing popularity, and the almost institutionalization of blogs. With all of these spaces, how do companies get involved? That's the job of Pete Blackshaw. The digital strategist was in town for a South Florida Interactive Marketing Association event, where he spoke with some of our major companies about how they deal with social media. We thought we would share some of that expertise with you. Joining me now to talk about how companies can get into the digital media space is Pete Blackshaw, and he handles digital media strategy for Nielsen. Thanks for coming in today. Thanks for inviting me. So there's so many things to do in social media. There's Twitter, there's, you know, there's all these mobile devices. Where should companies start? Companies need to start by developing uh, processes for listening. I mean, what's happening is you have all sorts of conversation emerging on blogs, forums, message boards, YouTube, Twitter, and it's infinitely revealing of brand and corporate value and getting processes in place to listen will then inform how to engage, how to have a dialogue, how to start a relationship with consumers, but you gotta get those fundamentals down first. And when you get those fundamentals down, how do you handle the employee side of that and your employees tweeting and blogging and kind of talking about all of these things within your company? Well, companies need to develop policies that largely borrow from offline policies. There's certain things that you're not supposed to do as an employee, uh, you know, certain, you shouldn't make inappropriate comments, you shouldn't divulge company secrets, and figure out what's the extension of that framework to the digital space. And obviously, there's a lot of things you can do online that could potentially uh, carry some risk for the brand. But at the same time, you want to also empower your employees to uh, promote your brand, because that's potentially an untapped asset. Okay. Um, in terms of um, mobile, where do you think sort of where do you see that strategy going, and what should companies be focusing on? Well, mobile's big. We had a big conversation about that today here in Florida, and companies uh, should really be thinking about how mobile is extending feedback moments, how it's serving, creating service opportunities. A lot of brands are creating service apps that sit on top of the brand um, that uh, create huge opportunities to win with consumers. But brands need to be very sensitive that mobile is heavily enabling social media. Much of what we're seeing on Twitter is because of mobile. It's creating friction-free feedback, and that means there's a lot of feedback that's kind of entering the system that can be the reward or um, punish brands. <laughs> Yeah. So do you kind of feel like you need to have one person just handling all of that, or how does that work? I guess it depends on the size of the company. In the short term, it's good for companies to have catalysts or dedicated owners. Eventually, especially in social media, you're going to see multiple stakeholders um, you know, owning the conversation because there's just going to be a lot of volume of interaction taking place. So you know, start small, start focused, but prepare for a plan where a lot of stakeholders get involved. And in terms of your favorite kind of social media space, what is that? Well, I'm captivated by Twitter right now because I think it's, even though it's lower in volume than, say, a, a Facebook, it is the ripple that creates the wave, and just about everybody's using it as an amplifier. Even folks in your profession, there's, you know, thousands of media reporters that now use Twitter as not only a cheat sheet to kind of come up with story ideas, but also as amplifiers for their content. So it's a really interesting space to analyze right now. Okay, great. Thank you so much for those insights. Oh, you bet. That was Pete Blackshaw, an executive vice president with Nielsen. If you would like to learn more about what Blackshaw and other local companies are doing, check out my blog, Poked, which deals with social media and the working world. Thanks for watching. For the Miami Herald Business Show, I'm Nyla Boudou.